Some old old <laughs> Tommy Tommy my Tommy two mys. Fuck Tommy Erm Erm I need to I need I have, I need to I need an update on Tom Myers. I got to go back to Baltimore. Yeah, dude. I Check emailed him. him. I was like, "Will you do my podcast? I promise I won't make fun of you." Did Did he what he say? No, he didn't respond. I'll ask him. Yeah, I can ask him too. <laughs> I'll ask him. I won't tell him it's your podcast. Yeah, of course. I would never. He'd probably do it. If I, I don't know him. why he's fucking mad at me. I did like I didn't make fun of him any more than anyone else did. He literally does not know that everyone makes fun of him. <laughs> like he thinks, no, there's no he way he's, he's, like, he's like he's like Mr. Magoo, but for opinions. <laughs> yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, one of my favorite Tom Myers moments is he's just we're at EJ's landing. Hell yes, he's doing some bit about like how the Orioles suck, and these two guys are like, "Oh, you want to get out of here?" And they're just like casually take off. He's like, "Oh yeah, you can't take it, huh?" (laughs) He's like, they're just like walking out, like have a side. Yeah, Yeah. and he's like, "Oh, you can't criticize everybody's (laughs) team." I understand that. Well, you're just fucking cowards or whatever. And then outside, we were like later that night, we were talking about joke theft, which which I feel like if you started comedy in 2005, 2006, that's all you cared about the first six right. months in comedy. I do remember for some reason starting yeah. out and being fucking hacks, terrified. Dude. You know who I hate steal my shit. is hacks. Right. Hacks are the fucking that I'm going up. It's like, what if you like fingered a baby? You know, yeah, 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 exactly. Awful garbage I had a material. joke. I, I was afraid people would steal my shit, and one of my jokes was like uh i knew i was getting fatter when i started having trouble wiping my own ass and then i was like yeah uh, a couple months ago maybe i wasn't in the best shape but my asshole was an incredible was incredibly <laughs> clean that was the joke yeah that was like my big that was a big closer? like yeah that was like a big it was it was a tent pole in the middle of it oh okay uh God, that was so... F- Dude, I have a fucking... From EJ's Landing, I have a hilarious Tom Myers thing. I was in a contest there. There was just this terrible seafood restaurant where Irwin... We haven't talked about Irwin at all. Oh, my God. Who dude. is a fucking That's going to be mind. the next half of the he's, podcast. Yeah, yeah. That should be... But, yeah. So, he's... It, it was, you know, it's this terrible seafood restaurant that was an open mic, and they would run contests. Are you good to talk for a second if I go get a coffee? Yeah, sure. Um, Nick, can you pour me, like, two uh, sips? So I fucking so uh, I'm in this contest and Tom Myers uh-huh. is on it too and my little brothers come to see me and my little brother Nick just does an incredible black eye impression like he just does he has like every register of black eye like he can do he does a great James Brown uh-huh. he does just like a great like what you know what and so Tom Myers I go up by whatever and okay said it's my I'm six months into comedy or whatever right right then Tom Myers goes up. And he's just doing, like, jokes about Vietnam. Like, he's doing yeah, jokes yeah, about, like, yeah. Charlie in the Trees. And just, like, the classic Tom Myers bits. Uh, and my little brother starts going, like, oh, hell no. <laughs> just, like, <laughs> as a black guy. He just starts going, like, mm, no, no, thank you. Just, like, just heckling him as a black person for some reason. I guess probably being racist. Uh, but just, like, and Tom is, like, a little flustered. And to the point where I have to tell him, please, Nick, you got to stop doing this. Yeah. Like, someone's going to come see, and it's going to be like, I brought the guy heckling, you know. Anyway, so that, so we do this fucking, uh, um, so that, so we do the, the contest is over. Tom bombs because my brother is heckling him as a black person. And he, again, he's got his jokes or whatever. So then I go up to him just like kind of making small talk. And I'm like, oh, Tom, this was a... Uh, I was like, oh, yeah, there's kind of, you know, whatever the crowd stuff. And he's like, dude, these fucking urban crowds, you, smart material. He was goes, talking about your brother. These urban, with urban Incredible. crowds, smart material goes right over their heads. Oh. And it was just my brother doing a black guy oh voice, heckling God. him. It wasn't that any black, it wasn't like black people didn't get his fucking Vietnam jokes. It's like warmed over Bill Hicks shit. It, it was, wasn't even like urban crowds. There the, wasn't. There was yeah. no black people there. It was my brother doing a black guy voice, and that's how racist he was that he couldn't even just admit he was bombing. <laughs> it was a sixteen-year-old <laughs> white child yeah, yeah, going yeah. like, uh, uh-uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, oh, of course. Yeah. Tom. So Tom that night, he fucking. We were outside talking about joke death, and he goes. Uh, yes, luckily I don't have to worry about that because no one will touch my material with a ten-foot pole. And he says it with this like. 
no one has the courage to do his like to do his Kennedy stuff. <laughs> Which, uh, Tom, you were born in 1983. Yeah. What do no, you give Tom a shit about? Not, no, he was born in like he's not. No, he's, he's not that much older than us, dude. No, no, he's no, he's. <laughs> I remember when I was 17, Tom was like 24. I don't know. So, so he's like got to be. He's got to be 34 now. I think he might be a, maybe a scotch younger, but well, I don't know. Okay, I'm I'm 21 now. Mm-hmm. I'm 20. I'm 20 years old. Yeah, I'm tw- I'm 19 and a half. So we're all 17 mm. year old guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, just you know, young comics. We're, have we said the that highest the tea we're ever gonna? Oh yeah, yeah I don't yeah. think they know we're all 17. Oh, we're all 17. We're at our sexual peaks. Yeah, we're at our. We love fucking right now. We come immediately. Oh, oh god, yeah. and, I can't uh, get enough. I'm, I'm never not coming. I'm always secreting a little bit of jizz. Yeah, every second of the yeah, day. Yeah, that's how dogs fuck. You know that? I did not. The know dogs that. don't bust. They just they're leaking. Cum. They're constantly coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really. Yeah, I love. You ever it. see a turtle's dick? No. It opens up. The whole front end opens up like a like it's a weird. Venus flytrap. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. How does it taste? Have you seen an elephant stick before? Um, no. They their penises are prehensile. Yeah, dolphins too. Yeah, so they can move in like they're like trunks. They can move oh, in like love different directions. Have a dick that does. And that, elephants yeah. jerk off, but they obviously don't have hands, so they just they fling beat it their against dicks their stomach, yeah, into their stomachs until they blast. Incredible. Yeah. So I'm 36 years old, and I'm at that point in my life now where women look at my penis the same way a kid looks at snow when to hear school's going to be closed. Anything less than six inches and there's bitter disappointment. (laughs) Best case scenario, she gets to go home an hour early. (laughs) They say you get another year older, you get another year wiser, that's bullshit. You get another year older, that's one more second, you have to stand at the urinal, shaking yourself so you don't dribble all over your pants. (laughs) It's good to see people come out for comedy because because of the uh, climate that we live in. The climate is very touchy. If people are afraid to come out to comedy shows now because they're always worried to be if they're going to go on stage and start Trump bashing. So I'm going to come back that a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and say something positive about Donald Trump. And that is that for a grandfather in his 70s, he's great at using Twitter. <laughs> and he's cheated on his wives with porn stars and supermodels so often, he has to have one hell of a spank bank. <laughs> I can't wait for Trump to leave office simply because um, I want to read his memoirs. I already know what the title of his memoirs is going to be. The title is going to be, Someone Else Clearly Wrote This. I mean, have you heard me speak? (laughs) But we love him.